Hello. This tutorial is intended to show you how to get AND Engine up and running in Eclipse. I've got a fresh installation of Eclipse here and I'm running Windows 7 32-bit edition and I've already followed all of the SDK installation instructions so I have the SDK fully set up and integrated into Eclipse and so I'm ready to go now and get the AND engine set up in Eclipse. Now in the past uh, there was a need for importing AND engine jar files into Eclipse but uh, as of today, which we're in September of 2011, uh, you no longer need to pull in any uh, jar files related to AND engine in order to get AND engine working in Eclipse. All we need to do is import the AND engine extension files and we should be good to go. So first off we need to set up the Mercurial uh, plugin for Eclipse which will allow us to get the AND engine extension files and so we need to go to the help menu and go to install new software and in the field here we need to enter the following URL HTTP CBES dot Java Forge dot com slash update click add we can call this Mercurial and just wait for it to scan what's at that URL alright so it found two items I'm going to grab both of them and click next and next again accept the agreement click finish alright and it pops up uh, warning just hit OK and then it tells us that we need to restart Eclipse so let's go ahead and do that alright so we're back in Eclipse now we've got Mercurial set up so now we can use Mercurial to grab the AND engine extensions go to file import and now we have this mercurial option right here so we'll open that up and we'll say clone existing mercurial repository click next and we have to enter in several different URLs here one at a time to grab all the different AND engine extensions so the first one I'm going to grab is the main uh, AND engine extension and so I'm going to enter HTTPS code.google.com slash p slash end engine and I'm going to click next and I'm going to click next again and finish now you might see that nothing's happened, nothing's here and you may wonder if we successfully imported it or not well if you don't see anything in here then what you're probably going to have to do is go into file import and this time in the Mercurial folder instead of choosing the clone choose the other option projects from local Mercurial repository click next browse and find your Eclipse workspace and say OK and you'll see that it was important to your workspace it's just not showing up on the side here yet so now when we hit finish you'll see that it shows up and it's connected to the repository but we do get an error at the bottom here um, which we can easily fix so we just go over to and engine right click properties go to Java compiler and click enable project specific settings and click OK 
And that while that solved the first problem, we get a new problem, which again is easily fixable, where it says that there's no res folder. So we simply expand this, right click, create a new folder, call it res, and just leave that alone for now. And you'll see that there's no more red errors on our file extension here. So now we want to import the rest of the AND engine extensions. So we just repeat the process we just did. So we go to File, Import, Mercurial, Clone, and the next URL is going to be HTTPS code.google.com slash p slash and engine physics box 2d extension I'm just going to copy this prefix for use later because we're going to be putting a lot of these um, URLs in over the next few minutes alright so we've got the physics box 2d extension and hit next Now we hit next again and finish. And this time you can see it showed up immediately. Again, we get the same res doesn't exist. We're going to be getting that for each of the extensions that we pull in. So for each of the extensions, I have to right click, create a new folder called res. Okay, now I'm going to pull in the next extension. Oops. Again, Mercurial Clone. Next URL is going to be the same prefix as before, but we're going to finish it off with Texture Packer extension. Next. Next again. And finish. And we put the res folder in here. Actually, we could uh, just copy the res folder from the previous. Let's do a control C, control V over here just to get the res folders in. Alright, I'm going to import the next extension. This one's going to be texture region extension. Actually, it's SVG texture region extension, so I gotta put in an SVG right here. Hit next again and finish. Got it here. Add the res holder. Alright, let's import the next extension. And the next one is going to be multi touch extension. So we've got the next extension here, which one to pull in, which is the multi-touch extension. We'll add the res folder. Import the next extension. This one's going to be multiplayer extension. Add the res folder again. Add the next extension.
this one is going to be mod player extension. So we've got all of our extensions in, and the next thing that we can do is pull in the and engine example files and play around with those and see how we can tie these extension files to those and engine uh, samples and make them work in the emulator here. All right, so I'm actually going to record a separate YouTube video that talks about using the and engine e examples. So when this video ends, keep your eyes out for the next video, and we'll walk through the en engine examples and tie these extension files to them. Thanks.